To perform the Dix Hall Bike test, position the patient in the bed so that their head can be extended over the edge of the bed. Have the patient turn their head 45 degrees to one side and then quickly lower them so that their head is extended 20 to 30 degrees over the edge of the bed. Avoid overextending the neck more than 30 degrees. Observe for vertigo and nystagmus. You can gently lift their eyelid to help observe for nystagmus. After 15 seconds or so, if no nystagmus has occurred, we return them to the seated position and then turn their head to the opposite side and quickly place them supine with their head extended and again observe for nystagmus. The direction of the nystagmus is defined by the direction of the fast beating component. In a positive dix Hallpike test, the patient will complain of dizziness and you will observe nystagmus in a crescendo-decrescendo pattern. Here is the actual dix Hallpike test of case 1. When the patient is placed in the dix Hallpike position with his left ear down, there's a couple of seconds delay before the nystagmus starts. This is called a latency. The nystagmus scene is more rotational when he looks towards his downward ear. It changes to more vertical upwards when he looks towards his upward ear. It only lasts about 15 seconds. Here it is in slow motion, more rotational looking downward and more vertical looking upwards. In patients looking straight ahead, the nystagmus is a combination of both vertical upward and rotational towards the downward ear. This woman also has left ear BPBV. You can see after a short period of latency. Oh, I'm dizzy. You can see it there. Yeah. I'm very dizzy. She has vertical upward nystagmus with a rotational component towards her downward ear. It lasts about 12 seconds. Is it sort of gone away now? Yeah. And again in slow motion. You can clearly see the upper poles of her eyes rotating towards her downward left ear and her pupils moving vertically upward. This is a classically positive dix Hallpike test. If you see this kind of nystagmus during the dix Hallpike test, you can proceed directly to perform the Epley maneuver as the positive dix Hallpike test side is the first position of the Epley maneuver. If the nystagmus scene is not vertical upwards and or rotatory towards the downward ear, an alternate diagnosis should be sought and the Epley maneuver should not be performed. Each position should be held for as long as the patient experiences vertigo plus another 30 seconds. There is no harm in holding the positions for a longer period of time, but if the maneuver is rushed, it may not be effective. This demonstration will not be in real time. There are only three positions in the Epley maneuver. The positive dix Hallpike side, the negative dix Hallpike side, and a further rotation of 90 or more degrees, and then the patient is brought to the sitting position. In this demonstration, the first Epley maneuver shown is for right ear, posterior canal, BPBV. So the first position is to place the patient in the positive dix Hallpike side, which for the right ear Epley is with the head turned 45 degrees to the right and the head extended 20 to 30 degrees over the edge of the bed. The next position is the negative dix Hallpike side, while maintaining neck extension, rotate the head 90 degrees so that the left ear is now down. The third position is to continue to rotate the head 90 degrees or more in the same direction. In order to do this, you must have the patient turn on their side. Having the patient look straight down is also acceptable. As you return the patient to the sitting position, ensure to keep their head turned towards their downward ear. Leave the patient in the seated position for 15 minutes or more and then repeat the dix Hallpike test on the side that had been positive on the initial test. A successful result is when the patient does not experience vertigo and no nystagmus is observed. If the repeat dix Hallpike test is still positive, repeat the Epley maneuver, ensuring that you have waited long enough between position changes. The left ear Epley maneuver is a mirror image of the right ear Epley maneuver. Start with the left ear down, then turn the head 90 degrees to the right, so that the right ear is down and then continue rotating in the same direction 90 degrees or more and then sit the patient up. Patients successfully treated with the Epley maneuver can be safely discharged. They need not have any restrictions on their activity or sleeping position. They can be advised that they may feel slightly off or dizzy for several days but should not have intense brief episodes of vertigo as they have been experiencing.